Bitch, please don't not ask me what I do. <laughs> Keep it big, baby, but it's still nice like Game, smoking big, dirty, too. Same old. 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 And we trying out two new world boss blades. So in this video, we're going to be trying out Kraken and Anubis. And shockingly, they were very, very good. Um, I kind of wrote off defense builds for some reason. I think it's just because how high up those two attack builds are that everybody knows what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I was very surprised. And I will be experimenting with Anubis for certain. Uh, hopefully, you guys stick around for, to watch the video and see exactly what they do. I was shocked. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, man. It helps me out a bunch. It is greatly appreciated. Hit that notification bell if you want to catch when the videos go live. And when I live stream, uh, we we passed 700 subs. We're, we're uh, on our way to 800. So sub up if you're new here. Like the video. Comment down below. I love interacting with y'all. There's still the giveaway at 1,000 subs. I just want to let y'all know I appreciate y'all. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video, man. All right, so we're starting out with the Nubis because this blade always caught my eye. I, again, I forgot to mention that in the intro, but these these pieces are spawned in. I do not get to keep these pieces. So more than likely, you're not going to get all three with legendary tier traits. I'm just going to throw that out there. I am very fortunate when it comes to being able to have these games, these uh, pieces spawned in. So thank you to the devs. Um, <laughs> but I have those three pieces and I have a frozen heart with lifesteal as my, um, as my what's it called, fragment. The way I went with the stats is just very defense heavy because every move in the new in the Anubis uh, build scales off of defense. So it was extremely important to me, but obviously I didn't want to die super fast. So I did put a good little chunk in stamina and this build has unbreakable. So yeah, but when it came to actually fighting, I was shocked at how well this actually does work with Frozen Heart. I was just using Frozen Heart because that's one of the tier fives I have with the uh, lifesteal because I didn't get a spawn fragment. So I was just like, all right, I'm going to use that. And it turned out it worked very well. The alternate angle obviously is very good. We all know how good alternate angle is, but gravity field works extremely well. And the chains are, it all really comes in handy with this build because it's so centered around alternate angle being the damage dealer. And because you have so much defense, you can still deal damage, even if they're putting something on like sacrificers or something like that, as you see. Um, but the way I test these builds for the most part is I go to the 2500 area because if you're like past level 1000, you should be able to beat the 2000 trainer. So I go to these, you know, the volcano area and I always verse one of these guys and then I verse a world boss. So we're going to see how it fares. And it's crazy how much this build mops because it's still it still acts somewhat Titan esque, right? You can still keep them away and stop their moves from chain. You know, you don't have to have the shield gravity field still does damage as well as keep them from doing direct damage to you constantly. He ended up falling under the map, so I didn't get to keep banging him up, but obviously I was bodying him. This build is super good. Um, going against the world boss, it happened to be Volt. See, y'all know how Volt get down. A lot of heals on his end, but that ain't, I, I got life steal, so it's a lot of heals on my end too. And y'all should see how it went a lot different than I thought it was gonna go. Um, but it did drag on for very long. I wasn't gonna keep doing it forever, but as you see, it's an immediate, just a lot of damage because of the frozen heart. But alternate angle actually can keep up with damage, even though this this blade right here has never been rebirthed whatsoever. This is the stock original, so there's no extra stat boots, boosts. I haven't beat the other two bosses, so there's not that 15% there. And uh, so, yeah, when you see that, it's just like anybody could have this blade if they can manage to beat. Um, I don't remember which boss it was, actually. I think I, I want to say it's Jinka, but I could be wrong. I don't know where Anubis comes from. So if somebody could tell me in the comments so you guys could know. I forgot where Anubis comes from or at least which boss it was. But no, this build is extremely good. I did get tired of just doing this whole, you know, I get his life down. He gets my life down. We both heal. And then that's just that. Uh, but over time, you start to realize how much it actually does heal with just one life steal. So Having two life steals on a piece is not difficult at all. You can get that very easily. Um, even if you're getting pieces from the world boss, when you go and upgrade your pieces, you would add in another part that you spawned from the vending machines and you would just add it into the ones that you have. And I promise you, you're going to get it 
very quickly it's not hard to at all um so life steal is something that i get all the time and i put it on any blade i have that's not spawned in so yeah that's something that i would definitely do for this build or you can just have dragon but i think having defense is obviously more important so try for unbreakable templar something that is defense you know um buddha i guess uh, i don't know how good that is on this <laughs> i don't know but yeah i got very tired of this i was like bro this is this is getting ridiculous and just quit that hoe but i am going to be experimenting with this build i think i'm going to be changing out chains i think i'm going to change out chains on that build and i don't know what i'm going to substitute for it but something that scales off defense it can do some damage now this is the kraken build this build was weird because it's extremely fast and it has a lot of stamina but for some reason one of the moves scales off defense and those moves all cancel your heal so like whirlpool stops you from healing uh vortex stops you from healing and then you have uh what's it called ice pillar which doesn't stop you from healing it's actually a really good move it gets you out of a lot of sticky situations when somebody's trying to trap you it will hit them and give you enough time to get out of there especially if you have a lot of speed like this build does so i would never i'm not getting rid of kraken um but i am going to get rid of one of the two and i think it's going to be vortex because having two moves that stop your healing is extremely big time especially if you're using a build that is going to be taking a lot of damage like a stamina speed boost um so yeah that was just something that i realized obviously it could beat the 2000 blades that's why i was saying it's still really good like it's still a good build but you don't get those heals which does take away from it a lot um so you're gonna have to not have to but i would suggest changing out that voltage flux i think uh i think it's important and i think there's a lot of different things that you can do with this build that would be good because whirlpool and ice pillar works together very good um obviously frozen hearts kind of just a filler but frozen hearts good on anything because that move is amazing um but when i verse the world boss you you can see how annoying this is it's kind of the same thing except over time i would have eventually just died i i just backed out because i didn't want to wait 20 minutes until i died but that frozen heart is healing me because he's getting hit by it every once in a while and then it'll you know it'll give me the heals but once i use anything else my healing is disabled so even if i use my nature crystal it's not it doesn't matter but what this build can do it moves extremely fast it has a lot of stuns has a lot of uh you know whirlpool stuns voltage stuns ice pillar is it doesn't really stun but it deflects them and it stops them from advancing so it's a it's a lot of cc so any move you choose to pull out of this build you'll still have a lot of cc and you'll still be able to move and put your opponent anywhere you want to you really just have to figure out how to do serious damage without hindering yourself so that's what i'm going to be trying to figure out with this build and i will show y'all whenever i do finish it um yeah but as you see here it's just a slow a slow death for real until until i start healing again and it's just the same thing over and over and over so it can't be any of the world bosses at a 1300 you know once you get past 999 when you're using aries uh astro build you're gonna get past the world bosses pretty easily with this it's like you won't be able to just because it can't deal that damage and it definitely can't keep its health going all right y'all that's gonna be it for the video i hope y'all enjoyed again if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel man it helps me out a bunch it's greatly appreciated i want to say thank y'all for all the subs man we're almost at 800 or kind of somewhere we're at like 730 740 <laughs> but once we get to a thousand we will be doing the giveaway i will be dropping another video today it's gonna be power world um so i'm playing that it came out on playstation i'm playing that game man but i'll catch you on the next one man peace out with it top down and we be shooting block rounds Play me, you get stopped out, these niggas tryna cop out Money, I'm always on it, these bitches is always calling They talking, I'm never bothered, I'm